Hi, I'm Rob Word. This is a special edition of A Word on Entertainment because it's from an interview I did years ago with one of the giants of the movie industry, Jackie Coogan. Yep, the Jackie Coogan who was the kid who became Uncle Fester. I used to host TV movies, much like Ben Mankiewicz and uh, Bob Osborne did, hosting movies, introducing them, programming the films, and I was lucky enough quite often to have celebrity guests, and one of them was Jackie Coogan. It's an old 4x3 framing, and the video quality could be better. In fact, I could be better, and I hope I am now, but here's that old one from back in the early 70s with Jackie Coogan joining me in Tampa Bay on WTOG. Welcome to The Great Late Movie, where we've tonight got something that you've all been asking for, a film starring that great comic team of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. It's their last American film made at 20th Century Fox. They made several for 20th Century Fox, most of them not so good. But tonight is uh, considered by some people to be about the best of the 20th Century Fox ones that they did make. It's The Bullfighters, and Laurel and Hardy really are more popular today than ever before. I've got uh, a bunch of uh, magazines called Prattfall that's still published uh, by just aficionados of uh, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy and here to talk with us tonight about Stan and Ollie is none other than a comic great himself, Mr. Jackie Coogan. Hi, Rob. I'm glad you could join us again tonight. Thank you very much. I didn't know Stan too well, but I played golf with uh, the babe. He was quite a guy. Uh, he, he uh, of course, you know, but I guess most of the folks don't know that actors want to be dancers and dancers want to be singers. And uh, Well, all he wanted to do was sing. He thought that that was the... He was a lot like another great comic, Charlie Chase. Mm -hmm. uh, and you and get, both worked at Hal Roach, too. That's right. And you get a, there'd be a group at the bar at Lakeside, and as soon as a tenor walked in, there was an immediate uh, quartet going, you know. He was, uh, he was a very jovial old man, and uh, Stan wasn't. Stan was a very reticent, withdrawn... Intense, involved oh, with film. Always, in, always thinking of film and bits and pieces of things to do and bits of business that uh, would help, you know, in, in, in some future comedy routine. But uh, Babe was a Babe was a liver. He he liked to swing a lot. Well, they're they're pretty aged in tonight's film. It is uh, done in 1945. Their last American film. Of course, they had gotten together uh, back in the early days, silent days, uh, and uh, made uh, just tons of films together. Most of them, luckily, still available today. I know most of well, you. Way are back in the old days, you know, Chaplin worked with Babe in one picture. I didn't didn't realize that. What yeah, was that? before they were formed, before the team was formed. And uh, they didn't get along together, which I could easily <laughs> understand, you know. Right, right. Because uh, Stan Laurel had the patience of uh, job, and he, he, uh, he was an easy, easy fella to, to get with. But when you talk business, talk business, you know. Don't, uh, don't wander. And <laughs> Babe wasn't like that at all. He was, uh, he was all over the place. Oh, that's terrific. Well, I, I don't know whether he sings or not in tonight's film, The Bullfighters, but let's start it right now. And Jackie Coogan and I will be back a little bit later on showing a clip from one of his famous films, one of the Adams Family series. At Channel 44 runs uh, Monday through Friday at 5.30. Uh, and we'll be showing a clip of uh, Jackie as Uncle Fester in that film. Thanks for joining us uh, right now, and we'll get into Stan and Ollie right now with the Bullfighters and be back just a little bit later on. It's fun made to order, south of the border with Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. Those zany El Dufos of slap-happy comedy and fun as the Bullfighters. They're defective detectives in the land of hot tamales and hot tomatoes. On the trail of a very desirable blonde. You're in for the year's hilarious fun fest with cops, cut-ups, cuties, and bulls down May ho ho way.
Laurel and Hardy are more popular today, it seems, than ever before. Earlier in the program, we showed some issues of uh, fanzine devoted to Stan and Ollie called Prattfall. Here is the LNH News, an obscure and extremely rare publication that was done in, and predated the Prattfall issues by John, Mr. LNH Valerino, who's now a, a sports editor on the News Chief. And uh, these, I save things like this, these rare collector's items, and it's nice to have them. And uh, there's all sorts of things that are published about people. One is uh, a book, The Story of Our Gang, which was done in 1929 when our gang was just making the transition to sound films. You see a lot of the big people. Here's Fat Joe Cobb, 11 years old and as jolly as he is fat, says the line. <laughs> and uh, with us, if we could open up on Dallas just a little bit, we'll see sitting behind the Our Gang book is none other than Jackie Coogan, who had a series of books all about him, too. Yeah, we used to print up um, editions of, uh, for children's use with clips from the film and uh, adapt them uh, for, uh, for kids to read. Uh, in those days, it was kind of hard to get kids, to, you know, to read. They uh, could, uh, we've gone back to that cycle again. Right. But uh, because they find these high school kids that can't even read. But uh, we used to make a, a, a printing of around 250,000, 300,000 on, uh, on each picture we those did. Those are really rare to find today, too. I have about seven of them, that's all. And I, I put out calls to everybody in the world to try and get them. But I don't know, these things get, do get lost. Well, something that uh, hopefully we have that hasn't gotten lost is a clip from uh, your series, The Adams Family, that starred John Aston. I graduated from Stetson University, and Ted Lurch uh, Cassidy, Cassidy yeah. also graduated from there. He had a great part in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. He got kicked in that I, movie. I, I <laughs> fell right out of my chair when that happened. I, 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 that was one of the funniest bits I've ever seen. It really was. Uh, he's a great guy, great guy. We, uh, we worked together very well. Well, let's watch a clip from the Adams Family right now with uh, Jackie Coogan, his Uncle Fester, and John Aston, and also Carolyn Jones. Hey, see the story? It says there's a cat burglar in our neighborhood. Really? Let's see. Oh, yes, cat burglar strikes. Two homes robbed. Cat burglar, eh? I hope he doesn't try to steal our cat. Dear Kitty is such a shy little thing. Don't worry, this burglar steals only jewelry, furs, and money. Well, he better not try to rob our house. Well, I'll give him a karate chop. That's what I'll give him. Ah. I'll give you a karate chop, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas is one of our cameramen here, and he uh, is on the ball and is just back here practicing just out of the service uh, not long ago. And he's uh, really a top cameraman here at 44. And, uh, <laughs> that's a funny show. Well, that was a that was a, a good show. It was it was entirely different to take a. To take a great uh, comic uh, picture and to animate them yourselves, it was it was fun right from the beginning. And uh, I don't know why the why why the program was canceled. We have never found out. We I went was, off with a 28 rating. And yours uh, with John Aston, whose delivery is so hysterical. He's as cynical as George Sanders was last week in the, the George Sanders. Well, you'll film. notice there's a lot of Groucho Marx in him too. Mm -hmm. With the cigar. Yeah, and uh, it was uh, it was fun to to create those uh, those those characters, uh, starting you know, fresh. Jackie will be back again with us uh, on tomorrow night when we present yet another comedy feature in Comedy Week here on The Great Late Movie. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and thanks especially to Jackie Coogan. Thank you, Rob. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Jackie Coogan. You know, if you did, you can go to A Word on Westerns, A Word on Entertainment, and see over 250 different episodes to select from. You can binge on them. They won't all be old like the Jackie Coogan one. In fact, some will be even 16 by 9 and HD. Oh my goodness, they'll be so much fun. Hope you find them, watch them, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.